hello. Uh, my name is Evan, Evan Ma. And I graduated from NGU in uh, 2004, March, from uh, Luka Sebeka. And I actually went on to two years of Daikakuin in the same NGU. And now I've been working in Tokyo since. Thank you very much. Um, this is my first time uh, meeting Evan, and I'm a current NDU exchange student. Uh, I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and my name is Joseph Watson Mackay. So today I'm interviewing Evan. Uh, from Toronto. Sorry, from I forgot. Oh. From Toronto. Yes. <laughs> very important detail. Very important detail, yes. <laughs> so today I'm interviewing Evan because she is an alumni of the exchange program, as she said, and there's a lot of untold stories that the NGU alumni have, the exchange students especially, and I'd like to uh, try to get some of that information out so we can share it with uh, the present students, past students, and kind of give people an idea of um, where people have gone after their exchange. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit hard to connect the dots um, immediately after you finish your exchange, but hearing stories like Evan's I think is a good way to give you an idea of where you can kind of take your um, exchange experience. So, Evan, mm -hmm. this is a big detail. Yes. Where exactly are you working right now? Uh, it's not with an S. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, working in Studio Ghibli in, in Tokyo. Right. And right. if, you, if you know Spirited Away, if you know my neighbor Totoro, we're the company who made that. Can I make a confession here? <laughs> uh, I, I'm a humongous fan of Studio Ghibli. I actually just saw uh, Kaguya Hime no Monogatari oh, uh, the second, for the second thank time. You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I've been listening to the soundtrack for mm -hmm. like a couple of months now. And, uh, it's a big honor to, to meet, uh, meet you here. And it's even crazier that you're like an, you know, an NGU alumni mm -hmm. of, of all places to come from. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's really cool to, to hear about your story. Oh, thank you. So, it's. Um, we, we know that you, you work for Studio Ghibli. Would you mind uh, sharing a little bit about what you do <clears throat> at Studio um, uh, I work at the International Division. So International Division is uh, sort of anything to do outside of Japan that's related to uh, our films, our publication, the soundtracks, anything. We, we're sort of the matokuchi, ah. which is, uh, yeah, we're the person. So we would be contacted with, um, from like, I don't know how many countries. Like people would email us, they would try to reach us if they have a request from like, uh, say, a film festival in Dubai. They would try to say, we want to screen your movie. So we do a lot of correspondence with, them, with those. And also, well, my main job is actually to do with uh, Ega Haikyuu, which is uh, film distribution. Right. So say we have a film completed, uh, Kaguya Hime, right. which uh, was shown in uh, Japan the past November. So right now, actually, I'm in involved with planning the rollout for the world release. Oh, so, <laughs> but I'm only uh, in charge of uh, a few markets because uh, our team, we would um, segregate into different market regions, and I'm in charge of uh, Hong Kong and EU, except France. Right. So uh, now we're thinking of okay, so what is the title we should uh, use for these markets? How should we market the film? Of course, we let the professionals of those markets uh, handle most of the, the actual nitty gritty. But we would discuss with them and tell them what this film is about right. so that they have the correct idea of how to market our film and so that people Sorry. outside of outside can watch it right. and because the goal is to make as many people watch our films as possible right right it's uh it's really exciting to get about the release of that movie and i can't i can't wait for it to come out you don't have any information about canada in particular do you no ah, okay i can tell you the win the wind rises. Right, right. The wind rises is February twenty first. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sneak preview twenty first, and then uh, nationwide rollout is the, the week after. Right. Yeah. I think like Joseph, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yes. Ah, yes, he really is good. amazing. <laughs> he is amazing. Um, because uh, our, our studio, we actually. 
well, we won't say we picked him, but we were given the candidates and we get to select people and we all thought that he is a good match. Right. And he did a perfect job. I've already, I've already seen the English stuff. It's not right. released yet, but I've already seen it. Ooh. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. Stanley Tucci is amazing. Martin Short, he's Canadian. Right. Really amazing. So, yeah, it will be great. I actually saw that he, he uh, I think he tweeted or, or blogged yes. recently, he's like, yes. ah, you know, the wind rises is the most beautiful. Right away. <laughs> I shared that on my Facebook right away. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see it. I, I saw it last, um, last year during the summertime. Um, my Japanese <laughs> comprehension isn't quite at the, the level to, to understand all the dialogue, but mm -hmm. no, I'm excited for the, the English release. Yeah, yes. A lot of people ask me, are you worried that uh, things get out of trend? Uh, lost in translation right. uh, but we also help with the translation we check and um, the localization it, it, yeah the localization that. yeah it, and it's good it's good that's, that's really cool, that's really cool. Right. so we know where, where you are now and you know this is amazing company that, that you like, thank you that you're working with <laughs> um, would you would you like to explain a little bit about the steps in between your exchange. Yeah. How I got there. Yeah. Ah, ooh, me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, have you heard the story? <laughs> so I've heard snippets of it. I, I swear, <laughs> like almost every single one of my, my Japanese teachers here, really? um, you know, they'll, they'll mention you because uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I guess they're quite well, proud of, of you, right? Well, yeah. uh, well, it's an honor to hear that, of course. Uh, and I've really learned a lot from all my teachers here. And uh, I guess the thing that got me to where I am now is the first thing is always read the newspaper because I, I was just in the Semna house which is the student dormitory right. back in the Seto campus where, where I was uh, staying at the time and I was just reading Japan Times and in the classifieds I saw the Totoro mark I'm like what is this <laughs> and, uh, and it turns out that the international division they were hiring somebody and they were hiring somebody with um, of course, that's fluent in English and Japanese, right. and also has a master's degree. So I didn't have a master's degree at the time, but I thought, okay, I'll just take it for keepsake. So right. I just stuck it somewhere, and um, after I graduated from the MBA in NGU, I was looking for a job because I thought, well, I'm already in Japan. Why don't I try to look for work here? So if I don't get anything, I can always go back to Toronto. So. Right. Why not? And I found that clipping, and I thought, okay, maybe this is a sign. I'll just write a letter. And of course, I wrote the cover letter, and I always, I also did the lyric show right. in Japanese. Very important if you want to find a job in Japan, you have to do it the right way. The handwritten. So the handwritten, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So I sent that in as well. And I got called. Oh, I got wow. called for an interview, and so I took the bullet train, went up to Tokyo, right. had an interview, and um, by the time I, I graduated, right. um, they said, would you like to come for a year? So, yes, it was a contract position for a year. Right. So it turns out I was very lucky, because it's not that because they're, they're still hiring somebody. They had somebody going on maternity leave. Right. So I just looked right in. Uh, it was a perfect opportunity. Yeah, right? for me, the timing was good. I was, I guess, I can only say I was lucky. Right. So I got in, and then after a year, they asked me to stay. So you came in initially as a contract. As a contract, and, and now then... I'm permanent there, and it's been 2006 until now. Wow! So quite a few years. Quite, that... quite a few movies made. <laughs> yes. Wow! Wow! So which, I'm sorry, I, I can't recall what what was the the most recent release uh, when, when you first started it? Uh, when I went in in 2006, it was uh, Tales from Earth Sea. Ah, right, right. I just watched that for the first time, actually, quite recently. Yeah. <laughs> it was on TV. Ah, okay. <laughs> it was, I think, just shown on TV, yeah. So it wasn't a theatrical release? Oh, no, no, no. It was back in 2006. Oh. They did it on Kinyo Roto Show a few weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. Ah, that's what you're yeah. ah, yeah. So the... Like the culture of working at Studio Ghibli, that's something I'm really curious to hear about. Would you um, like to share? Well, as much as, as, much as you can, right? <laughs> well, uh, I don't work with the production department, so I can't. we're in separate buildings, so I can't really say what's going on over there, because 
they're always busy. But um, from what I can see in the, uh, we have the Ghibli Museum as well. So right. sometimes I go there and uh, if there are like foreign guests coming, right. certain certain director, you know, we go and help and translate and, and do tours, mm. just just for certain people. Right. Uh, <laughs> um, and then. Um, where I am with the administrative side of work, I, I think we're more or less a big family. It's like uh, somebody has a birthday party, you know, I would bake a cake and, you know, so it, it's a relaxed atmosphere. It's not like, it's not like a typical Japanese office. Right. Sometimes it is in terms of the email communication because you're still communicating with uh, companies. In, with other Japanese companies, so you have right. to use the right keigo, of course. Right. Keigo is very important. <laughs> I can't stress that more. And um, but then when we're like, you know, at, at work, we're like, my boss is American, so we just like we, we do jokes, and it's half English, half Japanese. So, so it's, yeah, yeah, it's it's a great place to work for me. <laughs> <laughs> so the the point you just you made you said keigo is, is quite important. Yes. I think for a lot of exchange students, um, while we're in the midst of our studies, it's hard to see the context of yes, where yes, it's yeah. really important. Where, where it's really important. Once you get into the real world, and uh, it's, it's it's a simple thing, just as simple as saying otsukare sama is like when I first came here, I hear people around me saying that like. Huh? I didn't learn that in Canada. They didn't teach us that in Canada. No, you know? it's not in textbook. It's not in textbook. It's like, and I would see um, students um, saying that to each other. I would see, them, you know, after class, the teachers would say that to each other. And like, in what context would you use that? Is it something that you have to be here and experience it before you really get to know? Oh, okay, that's when you use it. That's why Keigo is interesting. Right. In, in, in